Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about something a little bit different because I've really noticed over time that, you know, you follow tutorials on YouTube, you get all the same products, maybe the same brushes, you feel like you're copying exactly what the makeup artist or the beauty guru is doing, but yours never quite looks the same as theirs, does it? You use the same products in the same way, but it looks much better on them than it does on you, and it's very frustrating, and we don't understand why. It's also kind of made me think about it lately, because the whole trend of, or the tag video of, like, I did so-and-so's makeup tutorial, so lots of the big YouTubers and beauty gurus were like, doing a video of themselves copying someone else's makeup tutorial and a lot of the time they were like disastrous consequences and that really got me thinking about this as well why is it that we can seemingly copy someone's makeup tutorial use the same products use the same equipment but ours just never looks as good what is going on with that so here are my top 10 theories as to why our makeup looks different to their makeup the number one reason is procedures. So lots of YouTubers, lots of beauty gurus are very open that they get procedures like Botox, like fillers, or even augmentations like nose jobs, various different cosmetics procedures that reduce things like lines, that make their lips fuller, that just makes makeup look better on their face or less um, textured, more smooth, things like concealer goes on nicer if you've got your lines filled in with things like Botox and stuff like that. Lipsticks can look much, much different on lips that have fillers. Things like liquid lipsticks in particular look a lot smoother and don't have as much lines uh, that we might get in our, in our lips when we put on a, a liquid lipstick because their lips have filler in and they're much smoother and they don't have as many lines. Lots of YouTubers don't declare that they've had those procedures, so you may or may not be aware. A lot of the time you can tell, a lot of the time you might not be able to tell, but either way, we do know that that is really common on YouTube. Absolutely nothing wrong with it, but that just might explain why some um, particular products or items just look a little bit smoother, a little bit different. The second reason is along a similar vein, but non-cosmetic treatments, that's things like skincare, facials, dermaplaning, facial shaving, getting their brows professionally done, their nails professionally done, all kinds of facial treatments, and really expensive amazing quality skincare routines. If you've ever watched someone like Tati's skincare routine, some of these skincare routines last for days. And if, you know, we're not really doing that level of skincare and that number of regular treatments to our face, then obviously their skin is probably gonna be in a lot better condition than ours, a lot smoother, a lot less texture, a lot less breakouts and things like that because they are so, really investing in their canvas, which is their face. If you think this is a lot of their full-time jobs, it's really part of the job to keep your canvas and to keep your equipment, which is their face, in tip-top condition. We're not getting, you know, all these facial treatments, we're not dermaplaning, we're not getting extractions, we're not facial shaving, we are not getting our brows professionally done, our nails professionally done every single week, then that probably explains again why products might apply better on their skin, why products might work differently with their skin. Number three, we have to remember these people are in the majority professional makeup artists who may have been working for 10 or more years as professional makeup artists. They have a lot, lot more practice, a lot, lot more experience, and not just on doing their own makeup, but doing other people's makeup. You know, we do our makeup maybe once a day. But if you're a professional makeup artist, you might have five or six clients in a day. So you're doing makeup five or six times plus your own every day, maybe for 10 years. Then you've got, just imagine the number of hours of practice these people have had. They are professionals and they are phenomenally talented at what they do, which is how come they're so successful on YouTube. So just remember, we are beginners, we are amateurs, we are not necessarily as skilled. We don't necessarily have the practice and the talent that these YouTubers have. So of course, it's gonna look different. I imagine if like Jeffree Star or Jaclyn Hill turned up to your place of work for the day and tried to give it a go, they probably wouldn't perform as well as you either. Well, we would hope, we would hope. Maybe they're just phenomenal at everything, who knows. The next reason our makeup does not look as good as their makeup is 
editing. We might regular, I mean, if I'm trying to do a winged liner, I can be there for a whole day, you know, rubbing it out, starting again, you know, adjusting it with a baby wipe, putting it back on, scrubbing it all out, giving up on the day. You rarely ever see a YouTuber doing their makeup and they'll like say, oh, hang on, I've bodged it up and start again or wipe it off and start again. But I guarantee you that is probably happening. They just edit it out. So if they mess it up or their wing liner doesn't quite go right, they'll do the tidying up or the redo or the wiping off and starting again off camera. So we don't see all of the mistakes, all of the like, you know, just evening things out, wiping up little bits of fallout, all that kind of stuff. A lot of the time they'll do it off camera. They'll edit it out for time reasons and just for, to keep it nice and smooth and professional looking, but guarantee they will be making mistakes like we do. If they have a total disaster, they won't be uploading it, will they? They'll just keep that, put it in the trash can, start again, do a redo, do another video the next day and make it better. Fifth reason is equipment. Everything looks better on camera. The camera does lie, it does lie. First of all, we all have ring lights, and lots of bigger youtubers with bigger budgets than me they'll have reflectors down here reflecting light into your face they'll have side lights and a lot of youtubers these days also have smoothing filters on their camera and all of that stuff is incredibly flattering now obviously i don't have a smoothing filter on my camera so i can't show you the effect but if you want to see the difference wayne goss does have a video on his channel showing you what that filter does to someone's skin so bear that in mind that a lot of youtubers do use these smoothing filters and not all of them are honest about it in fact a lot of them are not honest about it what i can show you is the difference that a ring light makes so let me just show you obviously this is me and my makeup with my ring light on full whack and we'll turn it off and you can see immediately I look a bit shinier in this in the middle I don't like quite look as smooth you can see a bit more things like pigmentation you can see things like my dark circles a little bit more and any makeup mistakes or anything like that any patchiness any wearing the ring light really does add a huge amount or just lights in general so just bear that in mind that obviously if you're not seeing a youtuber with no light with just natural lighting which very few youtubers do because it is very hard I would really like to film in natural lighting but there's just nowhere physically possible in my house um, where that would work so I can't currently do that but if they're not filming in natural lighting bear in mind that there is going to be a big difference to what you see in person as to what you're seeing on the camera number six reason is time a lot of the time you see a makeup tutorial that's really complex and really quite intense and the video itself will be under 20 minutes it will be you know maybe 15 minutes that makeup tutorial the video will be um do you really think it took them 15 minutes to do that makeup probably closer to up to two hours it can take to film a makeup tutorial that is like a full beat so imagine how much blending and things like that and building up of products that gets cut out of videos just for time no one's going to watch a two-hour makeup tutorial hmm. maybe we would maybe we would in general we try to keep videos down under 20 minutes for a tutorial so there is a lot of things cut out a lot of the elbow grease the boring stuff things like the blending things like the building up of product they're going back in with more bronzer, they're going back in with more of the crease shade, all of that kind of stuff generally gets cut out. Certainly the struggle with the winged liner, certainly brows are often cut out of makeup tutorials just to keep the time down. So bear in mind that a lot of this effort, the grunt work, the blending is cut out of videos. We don't see it, but obviously you need to do it in real life. Number seven, brushes. When I first started really watching YouTube videos, I had like maybe five or six brushes, maybe. And they were all just brushes that I picked up from like my local drugstore. They came free with a makeup bag. I just used whatever I could find. Makeup artists, YouTubers, beauty gurus, they have hundreds of brushes. They have multiples of the same brush and they're always clean. They're always, you know, new. They get sent a lot of brushes. So if it gets old, they'll chuck it out. They've got a hundred more, you know, or if that one's dirty, they'll pick up a clean one because they've got five or six of the same blending crease brush. Brushes make a huge huge difference I can't tell you the difference that I notice now that I've built up 
and invested in my brush collection and I've got really good brushes. I've trialed and errored which brushes I like, which work for me. And some of these brushes have changed, fully changed my makeup game because they literally do the job for you. They put on the perfect amount of product, they blend it out seamlessly, they place it exactly where you need it to go. Obviously YouTubers, big beauty gurus, makeup artists have brushes coming out their ears, the best most expensive brushes, numerous ones of them and they've tried them all out and found the ones that they love the best. So they have the best of the best for every single job that you could think of, they've got a brush for it. Number eight reason, whenever we see a YouTuber's makeup, it is freshly done. You ever really see it immediately after it has been done. If they're doing a foundation uh, review, sometimes they'll do check-ins. That's really the only time we see a sort of faded makeup. But bear in mind, we're literally seeing this makeup moments after it's been completed and then that's it. Who knows what that makeup looks like in two or three hours, whether it will still hold together, whether it will fade, whether it will have gone oily and all that kind of stuff. We have no idea what that looks like in five or six hours time. We only know what it looks like immediately freshly applied. So that's when we start thinking, how come that foundation looks so incredible on, you know, whoever, on Desi or on Katie or on Jacqueline, but when I use it, it's by lunchtime, I look horrendous and it's all come off. Well, maybe the same thing happened to them, but we just didn't see it, you know? It's things like that that we just have to remember we're only seeing a snippet, a small momentary second of greatness. The number nine reason, access to products. Of course, we know these YouTubers, they get huge amounts of products in PR. More makeup than we have ever seen in our lives. So they have tried every foundation there is, in every shade, they often get sent every shade from the collection. So they might be mixing two or three shades together. If you've ever looked at Tati's um, description bar on her channel, she always lists all the makeup and products that she's used on her face um, for that video. So she's got like three or four like primers or skincare products. She's always using a minimum of two foundation shades, two concealers, all kinds of contour shades. Like literally, are you really putting that amount of products on your face because a lot of these YouTubers are, they'll be doing a whole skincare routine before they sit down and film, you know, skincare, multiple primers for different areas and do different jobs. They'll be using two or three foundation shades mix to get the exact perfect shade, which for most of us is not an option. I remember reading an article, which I think was by um, like an interview with Mario, who is Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. And he basically said that he literally never uses one foundation shade on anybody because how many foundations have a range where there's one exact shade in a bottle that exactly matches every member of the public? It doesn't really exist. So, you know, we all should be mixing two or three foundation shades, but who can afford to buy two or three foundation shades in every foundation that they own? only can they mix products but they also just be the fact they have access to so many more products and brands than your average person means that they have just tried everything until they found their exact holy grail of every makeup product so they, you know they've tried every concealer there is in every shade there is every foundation there is in every shade there is primers you know everything powders everything is like the best one they've ever found in their lives from the hundreds that they have probably tried. You know, we just don't have the access to the number of products, the number of shades, with the um, vol sheer volume that they have the access to. And the tenth and final reason is that these YouTubers are doing what works for them and using what works for them. So they're using the brushes, the products, the techniques, the colours, the placement that works for their own skin, their own skin tone, their own face shape and their own preference and all of those things. Whereas we are trying to copy them. We're trying to put products in the same place that they've put it. We're trying to use the same products, use the same shades, use the same techniques that they use because that's how it works best for them on their face. And obviously we are all so amazingly 
different. We have different face shapes, different skin tones, different undertones, different shades suit us, different face shapes. Our you know, eyebrows are a different size and shape. Our eyes are a different size and shape, closer together, further apart. Some have hooded eyes, some of us don't. Some of us have, you know, eye like creases, some of us don't. Some of us have big lips, some of us have smaller lips. Some of us have round faces, some of us have long faces. So if we are trying to copy a makeup tutorial for someone who is not our identical twin, chances are it is not gonna look as good on us as it will do on them. For me, the main thing to take away from this video is we are all so different and wonderfully different and how rubbish would it be if we all looked the same. As much as we can pick up tips and tricks and products and love and see how things work on other people, try to remember that your face is very, very, very different and what looks amazing on Desi Perkins or Jacqueline Hill or Katie or Jeffrey or Manny or Patrick or whoever you love and you watch and you want to emulate, you look just as good it's just different i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe before you go so i can see you again otherwise take care for now bye 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 bye, bye.